points of failure the solder joint where the cable anchors the rivet either internally or externally can fail or be sheared off the cable guides where they're brazed on the brazing can fail can fail from either stress or from fluid invasion and the corrosion and it breaks down another failure is the collar itself can actually be bent due to stress and just work over fatigued these are major points of failure on a bending section your technician might spend a few hours getting a bending section apart and all cleaned up and everything cleaned out you're going to be replacing a biopsy channel a suction channel air water cables bending mesh the whole works now you've got a damaged bending section it's got metal fatigue it's been torched it's been ground on it's maybe been to another facility it's got other problems that you don't know about the eyelet that came off is an indication that there's other eyelets that are maybe coming off you got corrosion going on you could repair the one eyelet or you could replace them all you can re repair the one rivet or replace them all you can repair the one collar or replace them all but if you start out that way you're going to be fixing one problem you might be chasing a hundred others why not just start fresh and clean with a new one how do you choose a good bending section what are the qualities of a good bending section first you'll have a nice clean straight eyelet your cable flows smoothly through it the eyelets will be properly brazed on there's going to be no sharp edges your rivets will be large have a good solid head on them they won't float in and out they'll be where they belong the collars themselves will be nice and sturdy these in particular are slightly oversized and therefore are less prone to fatigue when it's angulated the collars will come together nice and straight and smooth no overlap no twists no turns your bending section will be clean and ready to use When you're brazing in a cable, you want to have it pre-tinned and make sure your seat is clean and you're using a proper amount of flux. Now, some people have an oxyacetylene, they got a butane, they got propane, they got all kinds of different things that they were going to uh, set their cable with. Sometimes they uh, get a little exuberant, they get too hot the metal will get to the point where it's glowing orange and yellow and when you get to those temperatures you're actually annealing the metal and we're concerned about annealing the metal especially the rivets those rivets when they get up to those temperatures they will soften and you'll have a premature failure so make sure you have a proper amount of shielding and not overheat the metal so we have a, a good seat on the cable What can cause a bending section to twist off axis? The main cause usually is the biopsy channel. Sometimes it is the air water channel. Sometimes it's the video cable. It could be the innards are packed in properly. Something's twisted around something and that'll cause a bending section to go and twist. Another cause for a bending section to be off axis is the mesh itself. The mesh, it can be twisted. It can come off of a spool and be born with a curl or a twist. If you have a, a, a mesh that is born straight, it will more likely end up straight. Also, there's other problems with technique in soldering and mounting the mesh. You can put a twist into it. So technique 
and proper materials will give you a good product. Thank you for watching.